Pasadena City College is one of the best and largest community colleges in the United States. With over 27,000 students enrolled from all over Southern California, PCC student body represents a wide variety of ethnicities and economic backgrounds. The school is ranked academically and has many excellent programs in such areas as music, forensics, math, and sports. Hi, I'm Rob Lee. I run the Writing Center at Pasadena City College, and you know, we are a very good college. We transfer large numbers of students to the University of California and the Cal State system. However, as good as we are, there's a group of students that aren't doing so well. Over the past few years, I've become increasingly aware of a group of students that come to college underprepared. We call them basic skill students, and 50% of these basic skill students leave college within one year. Not only that, but out of a hundred basic skill students, only five will receive their associate's degree and transfer to a four-year school. That means 95% don't. Here at PCC, a friend of mine, Brock Klein, runs the Teaching and Learning Center. They've had great success with basic skill students, much higher than the average college. The TLC offers tutoring just like we do at the Writing Center. So I thought I should go to the TLC and see what drives their success. Maybe I can pick up a couple of things and bring them back to the Writing Center to help our English students succeed. You know, the students are coming into college underprepared. Something is wrong at the high school level that doesn't prepare them for college level work. The idea here is that uh, if they're placing into basic skills math, they didn't get it in high school. This is not new material for them. This is material that they've gotten over and over again unsuccessfully. You know, I mean, they just haven't connected with the concepts. If they failed in those kind of environments for years, why put them in exactly the same environment and kind of turn up the heat and say, okay, it's going to be any different, do it. It's that they haven't been equipped with the skills that they need critical thinking skills. Reading skills is a huge one. So that it's daunting for them to, to open a book and, oh my god, I have to read this essay. I don't even know what these words mean because they don't know how to approach reading, they don't know how to approach studying, they don't know how to approach learning. What does it take for me as a student to learn? And I think that's where they don't know. They don't know what to do to learn. They just know that in high school they went to class, they took notes, maybe, they did their homework in class usually and they would come in and they'd take a test like a week later and they would do okay and they would never spend time at home so they did they haven't learned how to learn and what it takes for them personally to learn the material i knew just a little bit about the tlc even before i came here and i knew enough that i wanted to be part of it they have so much help and benefits offered toward the students not only do they get the books from the tlc that they get to use all semester and then return them for no cost, but they also have all the tutoring and the support that goes with the program. Uh, they have established a community for the, for the students. They've dedicated a room for them where everybody feels welcome, they feel warm, they feel invited when they go in. There's a special place, they usually have food over there for them. Somebody always has something that they can eat. It seems like if students have something to eat and feel cared for, that they will do their best to achieve whatever the success that they can master. Another way that the TLC tries to build community is they take the students on field trips. What's so important about field trips that they're going to take that much time and that much money to take the students camping? Early on in MathPath, one of our goals is to tie the students together as a community. Because with MathPath, they're completing two math classes in one semester. That, those classes are so intense that they, rely, they require the students to rely a lot on each other and to form a, a great community. So what we did the first time, and we've tried to do it ever since, is we've had a camping trip about the third week of the semester. We tell them, okay, we're going to go out and we're going to do math, and we do. We measure distances to trees and try to calculate the height of the tree, finding the length of the shadow, and doing comparisons. And it's, it's not difficult math, it's stuff that they can do, and they feel empowered. But what they get out of it more is a sense of community and a sense that they can approach the instructors. I think on our first trip we had somebody who, when she came back, she said, you know, now that my student, my classmates have seen me without makeup, now I feel like I'm not afraid to ask questions in class. One of the main things we do in the Writing Center is meet one-on-one -on -one with students, tutoring. And they do tutoring in the TLC program 
but it's different. And I wanted to find out how they approach it and what's different about their tutoring than our tutoring. It, it really is clear to me that math is not something that you do by yourself, that really it's a social event. I'll get like a group of students in the same class, and then we'll go over together on the board, and we'll set, and I'll, and I'll set up a problem. Now, one or two students in that group that who I'm tutoring that problem understand it, and so I'll get them to explain it to their peers or to everyone else, because as they're explaining it, they're learning it better, and they're also, you know, so they're, they're practicing that while teaching everyone else, and when, he, when they get stuck, then I will go and assist them all. With peers, it's different because you get to interact with them and they kind of understand, they know what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Because you might go to high school and say, you know, you know, I have a dumb question, I don't want to answer, you know, I don't want to ask that. Mm -hmm. The teacher's going to think, I'm dumb or something. And with your peers, they're more understanding because they've been there, they've been through that. It's not like your teachers haven't been, but it's more of a self-esteem thing you don't overcome. We're a little aggressive. We're we ask people, would you like to be a tutor? Because I think it's important that students see people like themselves. Somebody that's from my neighborhood, somebody was in my program, uh, somebody who understands uh, what I'm going through, perhaps has even had the teacher and in the class that I have been in. So we're really looking for students who have gone through the program and have succeeded. I started off as a, just a regular student. I had a mentor just like I would be. Uh, then one day, I just came into the office, talked to Brock, talked to, they, just, they just made it a lot more comfortable for me to come and talk to them. So they needed an extra tutor, so they asked me to tutor, and since they see me every day at TLC. And then so I, I became a tutor, they liked me enough, so they made me one of the lead tutors. And after that, when one of the lead tutor that was above myself moved on, they made me the lead tutor, and then I became the program coordinator, and then I became sort of like the leader of director, the, like assistant director for Brock, like you mentioned. I think that one thing that's important is that they find people who can relate. I mean, because just because your peers, like, and in the same age group or in the same school, doesn't necessarily mean you can relate to people. And that's something that I heard a lot. Um, I did some interviews of the two T's in TLC, and they said that the thing that helps them most is that they can relate to the tutors there. They can understand them. They, one of them said, they, he speaks my language. Being a mentor at, at any age level, you, you learn what the mistakes were that you did. You clearly see them what you did in the students. And you see what they're doing. So you're taking, since you did it, and you know that they're gonna do it, the next year that you might be mentor, you're capable of telling that student, you know what, I've seen this mistake done. I did this mistake. So. I'm, I'm, I'm saving you from doing these. Make your own, don't make mine, don't make theirs. Personally, being able to go out to, like, to the people, that's how you make friends too. Like The people that are trying to be the most um, introverted are the people that probably need the most help. Because I always tell a lot of the, uh, a lot of the 2Ds that, that are listening to their music or doing something, I'm like, take that off if you want me to tutor you. And then walking up to you, you initiate that contact, you develop a relationship, and then they start to trust you and be like, okay, he can help me. And he actually cares. So it's just breaking that barrier. And like, you can show your confidence, then that it's, it becomes contagious. Once they learn how to do everything, then it's like, it, you, your job gets easier and easier. Cause I have, I have the uh, two D's helping each other. And then that's when, that's when I know I'm doing good. Cause I can teach them to teach somebody else. And that's when you really achieve. It's more personal. Like in a lot of other places on campus, it's just like, oh, that's just a tutor. Like it's not, there's not a connection. Like we go outside of the classroom together. It's not just, okay, I'm going to come in there every once and then. It's like an actual community. I was a member last year, but I would never really come in. Like now it's like every day, and before it was like once a week. Because I got to know people, so I wasn't scared of coming in. I think it like helped me motivation-wise. Like now I actually like work harder because I see other people working too. And I ended up getting an A. Never in my life would I dream that I would get a bad grade in that class. So I guess it's like having other people there that you like the family kind of thing because we're like a family in here and you're not alone.